Alrighty, so today's video, we're gonna watch a Bronze 3 BAP. Now, we're gonna read the description of this one, and this is a description we see from time to time. Are you ready? Here it is. I just want to say that I think I honestly am hard stuck bronze because of my teammates, even though I make some mistakes myself. This game, I had 14,500 heals, 6,000 damage, and got play of the game. Honestly, I think I should be around silver 1 to gold 3. That's quite the range there. Silver 1 to gold 3. That is quite the range. So let's see. According to this BAP, they're in bronze because of their teammates. Hey, you never know. They can play amazing. Off to a very good start. This is looking good. Yeah, that was on your teammates. You went AFK at the beginning of the round and then burst healed your teammate randomly and then ran in and got rolled. Okay, here we go. I just, just some like, that lamp is like okay, but try to put your lamp in a spot where it doesn't get destroyed immediately. Now, I'm not saying that you can do that every time, but I think you could have done it there. One thing your teammates are very good at doing is taking damage. Good window. I, I like this window. It, like, there could be an argument that you could have used it a little bit further, but I like the proactiveness of it. So we're going to go with that for now. Almost healed the Moira. That's a good lamp, by the way, because you're going behind a wall. You can peek with it now, see? Also, you... I I'm going to talk about that very quickly, though. If you're using a lamp to keep yourself alive around a corner then use the lamp to actually get value with it too, right? Like at that point, you're gonna, you can always burst heal yourself, but like go and heal your Ramatra. Don't just leave them and be like, you know what? I'm just gonna put my lamp here and I'm just gonna leave. And you know what? I'm gonna go back and peek to see if you're okay later on, but you, you're not. So, you know, whose fault is that? Not mine. Try to use your lamp when you have it in a good location, then to just back away. So that probably is true. Good. Oh, I, I want to point out, by the way, you survived that, but your position was in the middle of the point. You can play at range there. Do not run in the middle of the point, ignore the rest of the team to try to heal your teammate all the way over there. You know what I'm saying? Don't do that. Because, like, sometimes you'll survive that, but if you get in the habit of just running into the middle of the point to go heal somebody while the other team's there, that's all, you're not going to survive that every time. What did that? Well, I, I am more baffled by what the diva just did. I, I you know, I, I honestly, there's a part where I, I respect that play. No, no, I'm not even worried about the bap at that point. A uh, chat. I, I, I just want you to like. I want to. I want you to see this again. Okay, watch this diva, out of nowhere. Just watch this. Like you know, okay, you got the point. Nice job. Let's regroup everybody. Stop you know, everybody's having a good time. Like let's just you know, good job, good job getting the points. You know, other teams like okay, let's regroup. Let's 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 set up for second point here. You know, we're good to go. No, this is fine. Diva's right there. And I'm coming in. Here comes the Diva right now. Diva's gonna go with the ult. Here we go. Diva's ult. And yeah, let's go. I'm getting aggressive. Like, just out of nowhere. Like, it's just like out of nowhere. Oh, sorry. I left the, uh, the, the replay thing up there. There we go. Yeah, I, I almost, I respect the play at that point. Like, what was that the play to do? No, but it was just, I, you know what? I respect it.
we got to talk about your positioning right now. I, I'm telling you right now, you said you want to climb, and, and you feel like it's your teammates as to why you're, like, hard stuck right now, etc. You need to work on your positioning. Uh, right now, I'm watching you just not worry about anything that's happening in the game outside of where you want to go to. And, like, you're, you're, that is what I mean. That play might work the next time you do it. But, like, if you consistently do that, you're going to keep having these random situations where it's, like, 50-50 on whether or not you're going to survive those team fights. I'm okay with the lamp. But you're not healing your teammate. You're, you... I'm not saying your Echo should have went back in there, but you got to heal your teammate there, too. Good burst heal. Use your mobility now. Use your mobility. All right, listen. BAP strength is mobility. Two, right? And damage, and heals, and utility. Okay, so Bap is a really good hero. Use your mobility to get out of there. Don't try to 1v1 a Moira. It's just not, it's not worth it. You're going to get rolled half the time because you're going to have to hit every shot there. Like, you have to, like, you have to use that mobility. I'm watching, though. I'm, 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 I'm like, straight up, we're going to see, like. I got you. This is a window chat, by the way, in case you're wondering, this is going to be a window. Where are you windowing at? In front of the cart to the left. Ready, set. Ah! Okay, that was, that was pretty good timing. <laughs> I just love the timing on that. I, I did not expect a reefer. Like, I, I did not see that coming. You know, chat, you say late lamp. But I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not even going to, like, be like, oh, that was a late lamp. Th that was just a fun play by the Reaper that, like, I think a lot of people would have been caught, up, caught by surprise with that play. In my opinion, I think a lot of people would have been caught by surprise with that. And the reaction would have been very similar with the lamp, no matter what the rank is. Like, don't get me wrong. Like, yeah, someone might hit that button right away. But, like, that's a, it's a little bit different when we're spectating it in comparison to when that Reaper just comes off the, like, just RKO's the whole team. It, it, it's just, you don't expect it, right? Because right now, what the BAP was probably thinking was, I'm going to window this, I'm going to window this, I'm going to win this Reaper out of nowhere! Right? Like, that's what happened. The, the, the BAP is thinking about, the BAP is thinking about, I'm going to window this, and the Reaper comes out of nowhere. You know what I mean? That is a Moyer ult if I've ever seen one. I, It got someone, too. All right, that is, Mercy is now ducked on the ground in front of the team. All right, that was. Now, I would. I'm going to talk about that after this team fight. Okay, I, we're going to talk about this whole situation here. First of all, step one to what we just watched. When you went for the Reaper up here, I like that play. But you took the scenic route up the stairs through where they can see you from spawn all the way up over to the bridge here to go for that Reaper. You could literally back up to a safer spot, jump up there, and then go for the play. That's where your mobility comes into play, okay? Second of all, when you got on the point there, you worried so much about the D.Va in front of you right here that the only time anybody on your team was going to get healed is if they said critical in front of you. That's what we've seen so far, too. It's only when they're critical in front of you, you're not looking around, seeing if your teammates need heals. If they're in front of you and it says critical, they get healed. If it doesn't, you're like, I'm killing this D.Va. That's, that, that's been your play so far on that one. So you need to start to look around a little bit more there because sometimes you're like, oh, well, it's all my teammates. But sometimes if your teammates aren't getting healed either during that, it's hard for them to go and make a consistent play. So you have to look around and be like, okay, wait, my teammates are good. Now I can do my damage time and we're good to go. It's good to balance damage with BAP. BAP is really good at that. But, like, it's also good to keep your teammates at a good HP. It doesn't have to be 100%. It can be 75%. Right? Cart's good. Like, right now, there is a Moira... Okay, look what you see. Look what you see right now. We're pausing it right here. Okay? We're pausing it right here. Okay. What do you see? You see an Echo with low HP, and you see a Moira DPS in that Echo, okay? You see that? Now watch. You're now going for the Moira rather than turning around and healing your teammate, okay? 
Now, that Moira is not missing shots on you. Let's take a look. I mean, I don't know what the, I, is the echo. I that echo's having a good time. They're like, uh, well, yeah, here we go again, back to spawn. Like the whole time, that Moira is DPS in your echo, right? And you're not healing. Like you just got to turn around, heal your teammate, and then kill the Moira. Instead, you get the Moira, but like you don't need to let your echo die there to do that. And if the Moira fades out. It's like, you're still gonna get him because- Oh, this is a- a... Big <laughs> slam! So you're lamp. You heard soldier ult and you lamped. I, next time, try to wait for the soldier to get a little bit more aggressive and then use the lamp because that's how you get the soldier killed during that. Oh, don't stand there in the cart. Watch out for the team. You gotta be, oh, be careful. Good burst heal. That was a good heal there, by the way. Nice job. I mean, you got the lamp out, but the Reaper got you. I, I, yo, I'm gonna be real with you. You said that you think it's your teammates and you should be in silver gold so far. There's a lot more that you can focus on than, like, what your teammates are doing there because there's a lot that can be worked on so far, especially with positioning and ability usage and kind of what you're doing. So that's what I'm seeing so far. That is the second time this game at the beginning of the round you have gone AFK for 10 seconds. At the beginning of the round. Like, th these are things where, yeah, your teammate got a pick, but, like, they could go the opposite way and you're already down one. And like I said, we, 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 we all have those moments sometimes, but that's, like, the first attacking round and then the, you know, like, it's... Your Arissa got aggressive, but you weren't even trying to go for your Arissa to heal him. It's like, that Arissa doesn't even have a chance there because... It... <laughs> to the random burst heal? You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause for a second with the random burst heal. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, chat. Whenever I play BAP, I do that all the time. Sometimes, like, I just hit the button because it's just, it's a fun button to hit and there's enough HP to heal. I'm not saying that's the correct play, but I think that's why a lot of people do it. It's just, like, it's just a very fun ability now that it does AoE heals. So, like, I think sometimes the buttons hit because it's just, it's just fun. I don't know. It's just, it's just a fun button to hit. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. I just love burst heal. <laughs> so, I do it sometimes. And, like, there's just something satisfying about hitting your burst heal. I'm like, oh, I just got 15% health charge. I didn't even know they were that low. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, I'm not saying that it was a good burst deal. I am saying that sometimes you hit that button. You know, it's just, it's a fun button to hit. I would not recommend it, but it's a fun button. All right, let's continue on. Be careful here. Hey, you use your mobility to go high ground. Just be careful of like where you are when you get up there. Okay, you're worried about just that mercy right now. It's the only thing you're looking at. Where, where's your teammates at? What's their HP? Oh, there's a Roadhog over there with low HP. All right, and now we're going for the hog to save him. There's a Moira trying to 1v1 the hog, thankfully. And now you're good. Nice. Now use your lamp right where the... Listen, I, I know there's a Moira behind you, but you need to focus more on the rest of your team. I know you're winning those team fights, but like that's not going to happen every single time. So you need to try to focus on where your teammates are, especially after you get that initial pick. Because, like, sometimes, yes, your soldier gets picks there, but you can't rely on that to happen every single time. Sometimes your teammates will need you to focus on keeping them healed there and then do damage to help them. All right? Did waste the field there? I mean, at least it was out of LOS, right? That's a step in the right direction. Do you see pings on replays? Yes.
You know, I, I don't know if I window there or not. But what I will say is that window... Window does increase your heals on your teammates. So, like, you want a lamp there. You could have lamped. And then, two, you could technically window that and then heal through your window to keep them alive. The counterplay to that, though, is I do have a Moira, which could, like, kind of help with that a little bit. So, yep. <clears throat> we'll see. Get into the field. Here we go. Positioning, all right? You got to work on your positioning with that. I'm telling you right now, what's happening is if you start with your position, a lot of the other stuff will come a lot, like, will be a lot easier is, is how I see it, right? I mean, honestly, I like the intent of the lamp. I, I probably would do the same thing. Like, we might look at that and go, what was that lamp? I honestly, chat, we, we've all been there. You throw a lamp, it bounces off a wall. You go, well, you know what? I tried. Positioning. Think about where you're at right now. Keep in mind, your tanky is playing aggressive right now. So, like, right now where your tanky is is not on you. Like, that's not going to be on you. I, and, Chad, I'm okay with that lamp. That lamp was to get away from that angle. So this is why, like, this is why I talk about position all the time, just to, just to talk about this for, a, like, a second more. When you are in a bad, when you, when, when you have bad positioning, what ends up happening is you have to use abilities you shouldn't have to use to get into a good position. You get what I'm saying? So if you constantly are focused on where your good positioning is, right, then you won't have to use an ability like Lamp to get to that good positioning, which people are like, oh, what about the aim, etc. But here's the thing, and, and this, maybe, this is, maybe this is just me, but when I know what I want to do and I'm in a spot where I don't have to worry about eight different things, my aim will be a little bit better. When I'm out, if I'm out of position and I have to worry about seven different things because I'm out of position, then aim becomes like you're going to, you might, you're just like, you're focused on like seven different things, right? So if you have bad positioning, then you're not even giving yourself an opportunity to go and get in a spot to hit some good shots because you're worrying about eight things you have to do. Oh, I'm taking damage here. Oh, I might have to use my lamp. Oh, do I use my lamp? Why am I in the middle of the open? Do I go to the wall over here? Do I stay here? Do I do this? Do I throw a lamp? Do I window? I don't know if I should window. My tank's over there. Do I go just get into a good position? And then that comes down to, okay, I'm going to heal my teammates. Okay, I can do damage. If I need to lamp, I don't have to use it now. I'm in a good spot. So like, Sometimes you might see aim just even approve with that because you're just what would be a good, good position for BAP? Like right, look at like right here would have been fine, right? Not perfect. Up here would have been fine, right? Because you're at an angle. You're no one's there. You can heal them down here. If you're in the middle of the open and you're like, uh oh, I have to run this way, you're out of position, right? You know what I'm saying? Like that's that's why I constantly and anybody who's been watching the spectating videos know that like I always talk about good positioning because positioning is the one thing you can work on, and then the rest of the stuff comes with time, right? Mechanics you know, aim, movement, etc. Like, that will come with time as you improve, but working on your position is one thing you can consistently do no matter what your aim is right now at the time, no matter what you're doing, like, etc. You get what I'm saying? You can always work on your positioning. Everything else will come with time. Positioning is a good start because it is positioning is something that you can take from bronze all the way to top 500, no matter what you do, right? Regardless of what, like, what, where the mechanics are at. Technically, you could argue that, like, if your movement, if you, if you need better movement, you might bump into, like, walls more and stuff like that. It's like, Anyway, here we go. By the way, and just, and just to talk about positioning, by the way, now, is this the most ideal spot up on the bridge here? No, it's still in the middle of the open, but the idea and the concept is correct, right? You had a better usage of your lamp right there because you had more opportunity to have vision of what was going on. You get what I'm saying? I understand, like, chat's going, like, lamp inside. Yes, there could be a better lamp location, but, like, the idea is there. You see how there's a different vision there? Okay, I'm on high ground. Oh, this is an easy lamp. I can throw it here. It's helped my teammates. It's not perfect, but, like, the idea is there. That's why the positioning is so important. <laughs> Happy birthday, Imong feels birthday man. Not my birthday, thank you for three months, uh, uh, T. Thank you. You know, chat? I like that play. Honestly, I actually, I like that play. Let, let me explain why I like that play. One, it worked. Two, in that situation, you not, you can't save your ultimate to next game. 
You can't sit in front of them because they're all going to be looking at you. So flanking with a window there, honestly, I like that. I actually like that play. That was the only play that you could logically do that would work in favor of your team. Like, maybe you could have windowed in front of the cart, but, like, they're not looking at you. I actually like that. When it comes to using your window as, like, a DPS window for BAP, chat will tell you this. In my top 500 games, I play against so many good BAPs that will be on an off angle on a flank with a window that I can't win a team fight. It's actually, I'm telling you right now, you will see BAPs do that all the time where they will flank with a window and they will pop off. But Because they're being proactive and it's such a good thing if you hit your shots. It happens a lot. It is okay to use window to just solo. I, I'm telling you right now, I, I, it, it, so many BAPs I see in top 500 do that. Doesn't mean do it all the time. If you have a Bastion and you, you're not taking like advantage of that Bastion, like being able to shoot through that window if they're in good spots that can do it, like obviously you want to do that, but that's not bad. Anyway, see anyone. Oh, oh don't stand on cart, by the way. I, but, don't, yeah, yeah, I, I know that was a good play. Don't stand on the cart. You, you, your whole team just gave up positioning? To stand on the cart, just like it. Good heal. I like that. I like that first heal. This is what I mean about position, by the way. This BAP is now in a spot where they're just like like running around in circles and they're using cooldowns randomly because they're out of, out of position. Okay. Go high ground. Go high ground. Please. Also, I want to point out that the, the, the Soldier 76 had to use healing station for Genji on point. Take high ground. You can you put your D.Va on the card if you need to, or put, like, t just communicate. Like, one thing you want to do now, especially after the card has a little bit of time in here, is, like, communicate who has the card, and then go up there. I, I mean, honestly, that doesn't really happen a lot, so I, I understand it won't happen, but this is just for, like, talking about it a little bit. So. All right. You didn't take high ground, by the way. I want to point this out. Because you didn't take high ground, like, their team is going to have an advantage from that high ground over and over again. Now, your teammates are winning the team fight, right? But, like, you're not... Uh, it's positioning. Uh, your team's not going to be able to get to here and win this, I don't think. I, I, I mean, I, yeah, you're not getting a point. All right, well, that was that game. We'll talk about this right now. You had mentioned that you think that you should be in silver one or gold three and that it's your teammates' fault. Like you're getting like you're stuck in bronze because of your teammates. Here's my take on this. I think that you need to start really working on your positioning. And from there you can start to to possibly see a climb. But you were you were constantly just out of position. You're constantly just not paying attention to your teammates' HP. You're worried about too many things. And and and, and sometimes it's just like you start with the process of, I'm going to look at my teammates' HP. I'm going to scan around, see where they're at. They're a good job. I'm going I'm to take that map control. I'm going to play in a good spot. I'm going to use my abilities a little bit better. And then you're going to be able to climb. But right now, the last thing that you can really focus on there is like what your teammates are doing. Because there's so much that like, there's times where you're not even healing your teammates. If you want your Echo to pop off and they're 1v1 of the Moira right next to you. And you're refusing to heal the Echo behind you unless you accidentally burst heal them. Is that going to be on you or is that going to be on the Echo? There's things that you need to start looking at first when it comes to how you're playing and like what your positioning is before it will, it will be on that. Don't get me wrong. You're probably going to have games where you have a teammate who's, you know, getting booped off the map eight times in a row and a Reinhardt who charges in too aggressively. And like, yeah, that's difficult to play with. But there's a lot you can improve on right now that will help with your climb, in my opinion, before you start to worry about the rest of the stuff there. Just start working on your position. I'm telling you right now, Work on your positioning. Think about how you're using your cooldowns. Pay attention to your teammates' HP. I then, I then after that, I think you'll start to see your climb. All right? If you like this video, make sure to hit the like button. Sub to the all the YouTubes if you haven't, all three of them. We record these live on stream, so make sure to follow the stream if you haven't. Follow everything. We have a ton of fun. Also, if you want to submit your own spectating, look in the description below. My Discord's there. We have a section for that on my Discord. Hope you've been enjoying all the videos. It's been a ton of fun. Uh, uh, seriously, thank you, everybody. With that being said, hope you all have an amazing day slash night. <laughs>